I'm pleased we missed all of this last night, actually, that we could see it this morning in the sunshine. I opened my curtains and I couldn't believe the view. Lake Baikal contains a fifth of the world's fresh water, and legend has it that if you jump in, you'll extend your life by 25 years. Unless, of course, you can't swim. Anyway, as they have the morning free... <laughs> fresh? <laughs> It's good. Right. It's good. It's hero. Good. Hey! <laughs> He's looking younger already. He is. He is. Come on. He went for the slow approach. I'm just going straight. No! Oh. Woo! It takes your breath away. You are such a. Oh. Oh, 25 years! Wow! Ha, 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 ha! Oh, wow. it's lovely! Whoa! 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 Seriously. That is... We cannot feel our legs. No. <laughs> it's cold! That was very, very invigorating. Vodka. No, not more vodka. <laughs> Thanks. I've had enough okay. of that. Mm. Frost. Frost! Oh. What worries me is if the legend's right, these fish must be at least 25 years old. Oh. Mmm. Oh, that's delicious. Beautiful. Mmm. Julia and Matt are shopping for the Children in Need auction. These toys could be yours. Go to Podsy's website for details. <laughs> like that. Quite fun, isn't it? Isn't it? Come on, that's great. With another international border looming, they could do with a bit of luck. One man who might be able to help them is local shaman Valentin Kagdeev. Thank you. How are you qualified to be a shaman? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One, two. Mm -hmm. So you have, you have two thumbs? This is something, obviously, that you were born but, with. Uh, same as diploma. Understand? A shaman certificate. <laughs> <laughs> Valentin, who do you communicate with? What are your beliefs? No, we are obsessed with the sky, with our ancestors, so that they, our prayers, will lead us to where they should go, especially to the ancestors. Мы сделали очищение от, от всего негативного благовониями и звуками, чтобы все плохое негативно отошло, чтобы все хорошее, светлое, доброе пришло к нам. Very calming, wasn't it? Whether you believe it or not, the setting and everything. And that was a, an experience, yeah. <laughs> Great news. When they asked the shaman if the journey would be a success, he gave them three thumbs up. Full of hope, they set sail towards Mongolia. It's our last day in Russia. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow, we're crossing over. Oh, Mongolia. another border crossing. <laughs> and another language to learn hello in. Hello, thank you, <laughs> yeah. and goodbye. <laughs> Julia and Matt are turning south across Lake Baikal. Then they'll face a 240 mile rail journey over the border into Mongolia. So they board their fourth train for a 15-hour journey and follow their noses to their carriage. What? I smell it from here. It is smelly. It smells of sweat and food and feet and cheese and a bit of urine as well. And this, this carriage smells as if someone's died in here. It, there's a corner where I think there's a festering bit of limb. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> really, really stinky. <gasps> Silk. Really, those in pants, basically. <laughs> oh. I'm starting to think. What's your name, anyway? Pete. 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 Well, I'm Matt. Pete. Not the guy from Blue Peter, man. Not the guy from Blue Peter. I yeah. thought you were. Yeah. Is that him? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. How long are you travelling for? Um, I don't know. 
<laughs> right, you're just on an adventure. It's a uh, until the money runs out type of thing. And then I ring my mum and like, get me out of here, please. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you want to come to this part of the world? No one does it. Everyone sort of goes, oh, I want to go travelling. I want to go like Thailand or whatever. Mm. And they sort of cheat and just fly out. Whereas getting there the long way round sort of more fun. You get to meet more people. Sure. To Mongolia. Who knows what's going to happen? Anyway, we're doing a bit of secret filming. We've got a camera uh, shoved in the carpet back. Hopefully, they won't notice it. Matthew James. Yes. Russian customs are more than happy to let Matt and Julia out of the country, but will the Mongolians let them in? I'd hurry up if I were you. <laughs> We're going to be in Mongolia in about 30 seconds, so it's a trip. Purpose? Children in knees. Any items? We're going to prohibit us. Just 25 bags of stuff that no doubt will halt our progress. Yet again, they have to wait for hours. We haven't travelled any distance at all. Everything has been about paperwork and getting through out of one customs barrier and through another. We set our alarm, didn't we, for five o'clock this morning? And we've got about 60 miles. Yeah, yeah. By rail like this is that you get so close to everybody, the hustle and bustle, the atmosphere, everyone's mood. This is a busy, busy spot here. And everyone's just dealing and wheeling, changing money, selling things. Where are you from? Where are you from? We are from Poland. We are this little group from here. Right. No. 17 of you. Yeah. Right. Well, who had the shower today? No. Shower? Shower in the rain. Yeah. Yes. Who? No. Similarly, no. this is this man. This man. Ah, this man. This yes. man broken. The shower in the rain. Ah, yeah. The cleanest man in Mongolia. <laughs> After a whole day waiting, they finally get the all clear and are on their way. We've only done this tiny little stretch here. But we have got across the border with all of our equipment. It means we can do everything that we want to do in Mongolia. I would go and see some Mongolian farmers. And you're talking about their livestock. For the next leg of their journey, they're following the footsteps of the founder of the Mongol Empire, the legendary warrior Genghis Khan, and doing what people have done here for thousands of years, saddling up and heading off into the hills. This is our ride. Oh my word, look at this. Yes, hey. 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 How do we say hello in Mongolia? Sambeno. 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 Their guide, Essie, has arranged for them to spend the night with a family of nomads. Before you mount, hold the reins. Okay. Not too loose, not too tight, just medium like this. Hold the horns of the saddle. Yeah. Jump. Okay. To go forward, just a little bit kick. Yeah. And say choo. 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 <laughs> you like your horse? You're beautiful, aren't you, Sandy? Not in seven, dude. That's it. Another trick. Belgan, like all herdsmen, lives in a portable home called a Gur. This is where Matt and Julia will sleep. Uh, hello. <laughs> hello. hello. Sit down. So good to have to go to the gym. Hello. Hello. Hi, hi, hi. Hello. 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 Uh, is this vodka? Uh, yeah. Mongolian vodka. Yeah, okay. I took him a hula. That's okay. Mongolian vodka. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> it's not with escape vodka. Made, like made of wheat. Made of wheat. Wheat, yeah. First, you have to do this. This is Mongolian. What? Offer 
the flights go to the sky. Oh, up to the skies. For good luck. For the earth. And, and for the down. stomach. Ah. Okay. <laughs> so with this finger with, here? With this finger, yeah. This finger. To so the, the sky, sky, yeah. For good luck. For good luck, yeah. To the earth. Yeah, yeah. And down the hatch. And then to the yeah. house. Mm. Well done. Well done. <laughs> pass it on? No, just give it back. Oh, we just give it back. Yeah. You noticed? Men on that side? Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look, I'm getting some. I'm getting some. <laughs> Nomads depend on their animals. Belgan raises Kashmir goats for their wool and meat. And believe it or not, they've always had camels in Mongolia. The old farm boy Matt can't wait to get his hands on them. This is the first time I've had the privilege of milking a camel. <laughs> Of course, that camel is used to being grabbed by the nomads. Mm -hmm. How much am I supposed to be able to get out of that? Five litres of... Huh? Five litres. Five litres? Yeah. She's put the brakes on. <laughs> Just joking. I'll have a little taste. <laughs> Not sitting down. Mm. And what a fresh meal. I mean, you know, to have fresh vegetables is one thing, but to know that this goat <laughs> is running around, what, just over an hour ago? Yep. Incredible. Incredible. <laughs> And now, in response, a lovely bit of country file and western. <laughs> Good old Balgan. He very kindly gives them a bag of raw cashmere wool from his goats. Later on, that'll get turned into a fantastic cashmere blanket. 